just quickly, the uh, speakers today are going to be uh, Mayor Will Flanagan, who's uh, really arranged this. I'm very grateful for that. Jack McCarthy from MSBA. Uh, that's your Boston partner, a very essential partner, as you know. Uh, uh, we're we're going to have Ray Mitchell. I guess Linda was here, so Ray Mitchell from the uh, building committee will be speaking. Meg Mayo Brown, Superintendent of Schools. Mark Costa, Vice Chairman of the School Committee. Also present are Representatives Sullivan and Aguiar, along with Senator Rodericks. Uh, we have uh, Building Committee Chair Joe Camara, also Dan Raposa on the Building Committee. We have Rick Pavo here, former superintendent uh, from the city side. Uh, also on the Building Committee, I'm sorry, we have uh, Deb Kenny, also a co-chair uh, on the city side. Ken Pacheco and Al Oliveira doing a great job, along with uh, Janice Paul and uh, Sean Cadeen, Steve Torres, and the rest of the mayor's team. Uh, Al, I have to mention Al Ambrosia, who's a former clerk and uh, project manager on the other schools, and he's here today as he's always faithful to the city. Uh, Chris Gallagher also has worked on the, on the schools with Al. Uh, we have the McGuire Group, they're the project managers, Tony Deluzio, Jim Rogers, and Bernie Malone. For j, j Contractors, Cam Patel, Ken Malovin and uh, Malovin and uh, Melissa, Marissa Summers. And from our own team, Mount Vernon Group, we have uh, George Figueroa and uh, Bob Hebden, who have been doing a great job. And I'd also like to acknowledge Matt Cuss, whose dad was a former representative here, and who, uh, that's where you get the Cuss Middle School. And he's been working with the students to have them work with uh, various trades and professionals in the school and shadow them so kids in, in Fall River can really be part of this whole thing. Uh, in, in thinking about a very short introduction, uh, when I think of the city, and I've been here a while, uh, over the years, I really thought it's about tradition. And when we designed the school, we wanted to have a presence about the past, but also high expectations for the future. Uh, the tradition here are in architecture and landscape architecture. I was pointing out to Jack uh, McCarthy earlier about the two Olmstead parks, one here and one at the Cus, you know, the Cus Middle School. And he's very familiar with Olmstead as uh, in Boston. Uh, we enjoy those parks up there, and they're very famous. There is also a tradition of respect. Uh, the respect that uh, when we first came here in 1985, <laughs> Rick remembers. Uh, we, we did the study here and looked at your 23 elementary schools and the middle schools as well. And we had to, after, I think it was after the third or fourth school, we started saying, hey, what's different about these? Because we had been doing other study. The schools were absolutely spotless. We could, I mean, they were older. The, some of the systems were tired, but the schools were spotless. We put that in our executive summary, and I, I, I've never seen anything different since that time. Uh, the other tradition here is hard work uh, in manufacturing, trades, and professions. The best workers come from this area. And it just to close out of this introduction, uh, you know, the hard workers from Fall River and, and also Boston. And recall the story about the, the retired hard worker from Fall River and the retired hard worker from Boston. They got together, they were friends, and they decided to do something together because they couldn't just sit around, they're hard workers. So they decided to go ice fishing. So they went out on the lakes to, to go fishing. They carefully built their ice shelter before dawn. They're watching each other, make sure they're doing their share of the work. Uh, they cut the hole in the ice and they began to fish. A couple of hours go by, nothing. No bites, no, no talk either. Four hours go by, six hours, eight hours, 10 hours go by, still no bites, no nibbles, no talk. Finally, the, the hard work from Boston says, it's kind of slow, isn't it? Hard worker from Fall River said, are we going to talk or are we going to fish? <laughs> so with that, I'd like to turn this over to the great Mayor Flanagan, and uh, we'll pick it up from here. And he's, uh, I just got to say, I've known Will just for a couple of years since he's been in office, and I think he's done a fantastic job for the city. He's brought a lot of disparate groups together, and uh, we're hoping for more great things from the city and the mayor. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you very much, Frank, and it's great uh, to be here and working with the Mount Vernon Group uh, has been a very positive experience. And it's always uh, refreshing to see a project that 
going to be completed on time. And, you know, living in the area, I drive by this work site uh, on a nightly basis, and they're literally working around the clock here. And that's a good feeling to be a mayor of a city and see buildings being constructed in your community. And there's a few people I also want to further thank and want to thank our Chief of Staff, Anna Neil Susan, for organizing today's meeting signing. And from our staff, I want to thank Ken Pacheco and Al Oliveira uh, for being my point people on this project. Uh, they kept me informed every step of the way and continue to keep me informed about the progress that's occurred. And today's bean signing is more than just bricks and mortar. It's about a community's commitment to its school system and a community's commitment to its future. And looking at the smiles on the young faces here in the audience, I know Fall River has a bright future. And even though we're building a technologically advanced school, a school that's going to be having all the capabilities of the 21st century, it's more than that. What's important is what's inside of the school. The administration, the principals, the teachers, especially the students. And I know we have Principal Rabbit here uh, this morning to be the new principal at the Morton Middle School. And I want to let you know that we will give you every resource we can to ensure that the children of our community are receiving a quality education. And we have the incoming sixth grade class with us. Very shortly, we'll be joining myself and the superintendent of that this being to sign it. And I think that's very cool. And the reason why that's very cool is 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 40 years from now, when you drive by this location, you'll say, my name is signed on that metal beam. And it's a reminder to future generations of our commitment to education. In three very short years from now, I'll be joining you back here for your graduation ceremony. That's the day I'm going to look forward to because you'll be the first graduating class from this new building. And over these next three years, we're going to keep you engaged in your schoolwork. We're going to make sure that your parents are engaged in your schoolwork. And to all the parents and guardians here today, uh, let me say thank you for bringing your child here this morning, for being a part of this very memorable ceremony. And it shows our commitment to education. And I consistently say it's education that's going to improve our community, whether it's from our unemployment to our public safety to just our quality of life. The more emphasis we place on education, the higher our graduation rates, the higher our college attainment rates, the better quality of life we're going to have for the entire city of Fall River. And to all the past administrators here, I know we have past vice principals, past teachers here, past students of the Morgan Middle School, thank you for being a part of this ceremony. Uh, this is a great day for the city, a great day for education, and a great day for our future generations. And with that said, uh, it's a great honor to bring up one of my partners in government, and without him and the MSBA, without the help of our treasurer, Steve Grossman, the city of Fall River would not be able to partake uh, in today's uh, ceremonial uh, signing, and that's Jack McCod, the executive assistant of the MSBA. Jack, thank you for being here. Thank you. I, I bring greetings from also the chairman of, uh, of the board of the MSBA, who's uh, the treasurer, Steve Grossman, who uh, is unable to be here today, but sends his uh, warmest regards and he promises he'll be here for the uh, ribbon cutting. Um, the, the mission of the MSBA is to partner with the uh, Massachusetts communities to support the design and construction of educationally appropriate, sustainable, flexible, and cost-effective public school facilities. And this project certainly fits that ideal. Uh, this project, we are your partners in this project. 
So we're at, we're at 80 percent carbon. So we're, we're participating at about three, 38 million dollars in this project. So we're happy to be here, and, and, and we're also happy to hear that it's on time and actually under budget. So uh, great job for the people who put that everything together. They saved three million on the on the bids, which actually helped them. Uh, when they found the uh, contaminated soil, uh, or the new school, the old school under there, so three million being another was a good bumper to, to take some of that. So. But you know, these projects don't happen with just the mayor and myself. When you have a, a legislative delegation, it's second to none. And uh, Senator Roberts, uh, Representative Sullivan, Representative Schmidt is not here. Uh, Representative Aguilar is here. You guys can just stand up, please. These guys have been great with, uh, with the MSPA. great advocates and you should really uh, understand that and appreciate that. Um, we have a team too. I'm joined by two of my team. Uh, Matt Donovan, who's my uh, Director of Communications and Government Relations, and Jim Diuti, who's uh, Legislative Liaison. Uh, they joined me down here. So here in the back, just wave, say hello. But you've also worked already, and Frank knows these people very well. Our field coordinators, Carolyn Walsh, our uh, project manager, Chris Alice, and our construction manager, Paul Folks. And, you know, we're not, we don't just go away when you break ground. We're there all the way through. If you ever need anything, you know you can call and they'll be there. And, uh, you know, we're very proud of them. You know, Benjamin Franklin once said, investment in education pays the best interest. And I think that's going to show when you guys are in this school for a little while. Can I just see all the children here? Who's going to attend the school? Just stand up. There's one group of people that gets forgotten. You know, and it's the voters. The voters that you know that vote the appropriations for these. Turn around, find your parent, your guardian, whomever, and just say thank you. Also, the cost is associated with the green and sustainable features of the school, which make it valuable, make it more energy efficient, more natural daylight, and more air quality, uh, sustainable materials used throughout, a lot of recyclables on the top. Uh, they have brought water reduction in all the plumbing conditions, so the same water. We expect to meet energy up to 30% of a non-green building. So we're very happy about those things for the long-term uh, future of this building. And then finally, the delight, as I mentioned earlier, is a reflection of the past, but also high expectations for the future. This building stands proudly on the great streets of Fall River, not about Mason. And it will stand there for the next hundred years as a symbol of the commitment that this community has to its kids. And I'm just uh, very happy to be a great part of it. So uh, with that, I would just like to turn it over to uh, Linda and Linda. It's a great show for the building committee would like to be
I want to introduce you to your new principal, Principal Cheryl Rabbit. And she's going to come up to the microphone and say a few words for all of you. So please welcome her. Thank you, Eric. Go ahead of 
building work the main grounds and uh, on the Homer Select Committee, Dan Raposa, Dan, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Steve Carroll, Steve, thank you. <laughs> Jody Oliveira, also on the Oversight Committee. Jody, thank you. Yeah, we're all going to get straight A's. <laughs> 